If you're looking at moving in the near future, then you're probably considering the economy of different cities and what are the job opportunities. Coming up in this video, I wanna show you why Cincinnati is consistently ranked one of the top cities in America for new jobs. All right, hey guys, welcome back. My name's Eric Stanio from Keller Williams Realty and TeamStanio.com, where we are helping you find your home and strengthen your family. I'm a Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky realtor. I've lived here for 30 years. I love this city. I'm raising my family here. I have five kids. And you might be wanting to check out, like, what about Cincinnati? Maybe you are post pandemic, you're looking at potentially moving and relocating, and you're comparing different cities, whether it's in the Midwest or even across the country. And you're like, hey, I don't want to live in one of these more expensive cities. I can work remotely, or I'm looking at just moving entirely. You want to know what's the economic outlook look like in Cincinnati? Um, what are the jobs looking like? That's what we're going to get into this video. I want to look at some of the top rankings of cities. Also, what are the industries in Cincinnati and some of the top employers? So stay tuned for all of it. Um, the first thing I want to kind of mention here is the fact that Cincinnati is very economically diverse. And so I just did another video recently of um, how the city is somewhere you can put down roots and it's not too dependent on one specific industry. Um, the example I gave in the other video was Detroit. When the automotive industry tanked, the whole city just really hurt from it. Cincinnati is very diverse in terms of multiple uh, industries. So let's kind of dive into that and look at some of the details because this is a consistent story that's being told over several years. I want to start with this report that came out in 2017 on the world's most competitive cities from the global investor perspective on true, uh, true city competitiveness. So this is ranking some of the top cities in the world, different international cities. On the first page, it's talking about Greater Cincinnati. And a few things you might not know is that Greater Cincinnati has more fortune companies per capita than New York, LA, or Chicago. Um, so it's not as big of those as those cities, obviously, but we have a lot of large companies here that offer a lot of jobs. There's home to 1,500 IT companies. It's among the fastest growing economies in the Midwest. One of the uh, it's home to more than 600 bio health businesses and one of the highest concentrations of aerospace talent in the world. It's also very tax friendly. Number one U.S. city for tax friendliness. Everyone likes to hear that. Um, I want to show you guys this website. It is called the Cincinnati Experience. This is a really cool website for getting a feel about living in Cincinnati. If you're not just looking at jobs, but you want to, you know, if you're comparing Midwest cities like Indianapolis, St. Louis, Louisville, Columbus, Cleveland, where you're in that ballpark, you want to know kind of the details of the city. In the near future, I'm going to be doing a pros and cons of living in Cincinnati. I can't wait to do that video. I've been wait, wanting to do it for a long time. But this, this website will give you uh, a little bit of a feel of what it's like to live here, um, to play here, what the, what the restaurant and foodie scene is like, about the sports, diversity, the arts, uh, entertainment, the tours, the parks. Um, and, and for businesses, startups and entrepreneurs. But I wanna look at specifically the jobs because I wanna show you guys in terms of the Cincinnati region, which also includes Northern Kentucky and Southeast Cincinnati or Southeast Indiana. Um, it is ranked one of the top 10 city for job seekers. It's uh, one of the country's best cities for new jobs, according to Glassdoor. I'll show you that article in just a minute. There's some stories here from different business owners. Um, but I wanted to look at these technologies, uh, these, these industries. So first of all, you have technology. Um, this is saying the Cincinnati region represents the number one startup ecosystem in the state, Ohio, and 18 in the entire country, ahead of such cities as Boston, Seattle, Portland, and Chicago, according to the 2017 Kaufman Index on Startup Activity. I actually worked for a startup for two years here, uh, 2013 to 2015. I was their head of marketing. Um, for this site called cladwell.com. You can even probably find some old videos of me doing men's fashion videos, which I don't really know anything about, but I did them. And you know, it's this is a great place because the, the cost of living is so low, taxes are low, but there's a lot of talent here because of the universities. It's a great place to, um, to start a business and a startup. Our region has a history of turning startups into Fortune 500 companies like Procter & Gamble. Our strength lies in our combination of financial resources, innovation, and, collab 
and collaborative leaders and an affordable lifestyle. This is really kind of the trifecta of Cincinnati. You have you have money here. There are financial resources. You have innovative and collaborative leaders. So you have a strong base of talent, and then you have an affordable lifestyle. Those are kind of the three things that make Cincinnati a really strong place for jobs and why businesses continue to choose to do business here and offer a lot of jobs for people to come and work, live and work here. Uh, business and professional services. So you have companies like, um, you have Fifth Third Bank, a Fortune 500 company, uh, Cincinnati Financial Corps, along with Western Southern, PNC Bank, Fidelity Investments is a large employer here, Huntington Bank and U.S. Bank. So that's a big piece of the employers here. With BioHealth, you have Children's Hospital, which is really world-renowned for being a fantastic hospital, and the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. They've both gained international status on research uh, and treatment powerhouses attracting patients from around the world, and nearly 600 biohealth businesses in our region are tackling everything from personalized pharma. I can't say it. Uh, Pharmacogen. Not even gonna try. Pharmacogenomics. Man, I am so like. What do I know about this? To invasive biomagnetic imaging, to suicide prevention, wearable drug delivery systems, and much more. So when you think about um, job proofing and trying to think through the future, biohealth is obviously a place where there's going to be a lot of jobs for years to come. Advanced manufacturing, we also, the Cincinnati region was ranked a top five most competitive area in North America for aerospace, number two in North America, chemicals and plastics, number four, and metals, number five. We have a long and deep history in this in industry that has generated more than 2,500 manufacturing companies and tens of thousands of skilled workers. We're one of the few regions in the country where we still make everything from soap to aircraft engines using the most advanced technology. Speaking of aircraft engines, our region's aerospace sector has grown 19.5% over the last five years. We now boast 130 local companies in this, in this industry supporting 17,000 workers. So different industries here, uh, advanced manufacturing, biohealth, business and professional services, and the technology scene. I wanna hop over to uh, this site, which I've shown before on other videos, but readycincinnati.com, and just look at some of the largest public employers for Southwest Ohio, Northern Kentucky, and Southeast Indiana, which is that Cincinnati Metro. You've got uh, Procter & Gamble, P&G, 10,000 jobs. Kroger, which is a huge grocery chain. Their headquarters are here, almost 15,000 jobs. Cincinnati Children's Hospital, 15, that's the largest here in the city. CVG is the airport, so that's a huge employer. It's an international airport. Um, you've got Fidelity Investments, a huge financial services, Fifth Third Bank, which we, which we mentioned. UC Health, Christ Hospital, and TriHealth. So a lot of in the healthcare scene in terms of jobs. Uh, then you've got things like Kings Island and G GE to the aviation and aerospace, um, General Electric, 9,700 jobs here. So you can see very diverse, lots of different jobs. Um, and just to scroll down to some of these business leaders, I um, wanna read some of these quotes here from GE Aviation. I can't help but reflect on what a perfect match Cincinnati and GE Aviation have been for 70 years, a community and a company that have grown together. That's another really cool thing about a lot of these large corporations here in Cincinnati is their desire to connect with the community. They're giving back to the community, the way they sponsor different initiatives, and um, they're trying to grow together with the community. So in that other video I did, I talked about how Cincinnati is a place where you can grow roots, where roots grow deep. You can have a family here. There, are, Cincinnati is a cool place because you have multi-generation families that have lived here, but you also have these multi-generational businesses that are connected to this area and to this community. And the connection between these corporations and the community is really, really strong. Um, I, I can't speak to that, I guess, to other cities, but it's definitely something that I see here that is that is really cool, has a decades-long relationship. So you see that with companies like P&G and Fifth Third and Cincinnati Children's and Western and Southern is another one. Um, I want to read this quote as well. The Cincinnati region is an ideal economic situation. Thanks to competitive state income tax rates, which hover around 5% compared to 9% in places like Connecticut, and as momentum builds around projects like the Amazon hub at CVG, steadily low commercial rents will help us compete with expensive markets like Charlotte, Nashville, and even New York City. Uh, I just wanted to point to that because Amazon is doing an investment of $2 billion 
at uh, CVG, which is the Cincinnati uh, International Airport. It actually stands for Covington because it's in Kentucky, um, not not Ohio. But that investment that's going in is going to be huge. That's a big one, along with these other corporations that have been here for years in terms of a job producer and in terms of what he's saying here, competing with expensive markets. So if you find yourself living in one of these expensive markets like Charlotte, like Nashville, like New York City, like San Francisco or LA or Chicago or Seattle, I mean, the reason you're probably watching this video, if you're still watching, thank you very much, um, is you're like, hey, I these cities are expensive. I would like to have more money in my pocket. And so where are the cities that are less expensive that I can move my family to and have a and have a job opportunities? Cincinnati is one of those places. Uh, it's a great city for that. Just want to knock over, uh, show you two other articles real quick. Um, here was a Thrillist article from 2019. These are the best cities for job seekers this year. And Cincinnati's ranking 22 on this list. So specifically, they weighed major U.S. metros areas for low level of competition for jobs, a high salary score, best company reviews, and lowest unemployment rates. So that's how all these cities are ranking here. And you see some other Midwest cities, Cincinnati, uh, Columbus, Louisville, St. Louis, Indianapolis, Milwaukee, Nashville um, are all on this list. Then I want to pop over to 2020. Uh, this is Glassdoor's rankings with more job seekers willing to relocate. These are the top locations for hiring in 2020. And so, um, you know, this is interesting. There were a few surprises in the list, mostly that cities like New York, San Francisco are nowhere on the list. Also interesting to see cities like Cleveland, Detroit are rebounding. And so kind of what they're seeing, the trend is like people are waking up after the pandemic and saying, why am I living in this super expensive city when I can go live in a more affordable city, still make a higher income, take those dollars and I can either invest them, I can travel more, I can put them into whatever I want. That's what a lot of people are thinking. So you got Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, Pittsburgh, Indianapolis, Memphis, Cleveland, Ohio, St. Louis, Hartford, Connecticut, Birmingham, and Cincinnati. So in terms of job satisfaction, I, I think the highest one on here is 3.6, but you see a 3.4 out of five here. You've got 45,000 job openings right now. The jobs are here, people. Come and get them. Um, the median base salary is $50,000, so that's really competitive. And the medium home value is 183. So real estate is very affordable here. I know, I'm a realtor. So you can get a good job. There's, there's opportunity here and the cost of living is really low. And that's the story of Cincinnati is uh, a lot of job opportunities, low cost of living and a great place to live. So really it comes down to the other amenities of the city and do you wanna live there? And so the art scene, the restaurant scene, the beauty of the city, I will stack my city up against yours uh, and I'll stack my professional football team, the Bengals. I don't care if you're laughing at me right now. We just drafted Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow to Jamar, to Jamar Chase. It's gonna be amazing. Who day, go Bengals. Um, so come watch Joe Burrow rise the Cincinnati Bengals like a phoenix out of the ashes to the Super Bowl. It's gonna happen. Or I'm really delusional. Either way, whatever. Guys, I hope this video was helpful. We got many, many others of what it's like to live in Cincinnati. So watch our videos about living in the area, what neighborhoods to check out, top school districts, new construction, all kinds of videos here. Uh, if this video was helpful for you, please like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.